Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Ultimate Kits plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to create kits in-game and make them fully customizable, such as adding a cost, adding a countdown before you can use them again, adding permissions, all of that good stuff in a really handy GUI. Let's go ahead and do the 4 slash kits command. This is going to bring up a nice GUI where you can see all the kits on the server. So by default, we have these three. And hello, Mr. Mountain Goat. And you can see I've added two custom ones. Both of these cost an amount of money. And you can see this one has a countdown of 12 seconds. And what we can do is click one with a left click to preview. And this one comes with emeralds and a command. If we go back and go into wood, this one is going to just contain these items. And then what we could do is pick one at random, right click, and that is how you would gain them. Now this wood one is not going to give you all the items, it's actually a roulette animation. So it's going to cycle through all of these and pick one of these at random, and we got some oak planks out of that. So that is a quick look at how getting the kits works. Let's show you how to create a brand new one. So if you do full slash kit admin, this is going to bring up all of the admin commands and what we can do is the kit admin create kit command. Now I'm going to call this kit food and once you hit enter it's going to bring up an editing GUI. So what we need to do first of all is put some items in here so people can get them. So we want to switch to our inventory and what we're going to do is just place a couple of items in here and then we want to switch back to functions. Now down here we have various different options that we can choose from so we can change the animation if we want, we can clone the kit, we can add an economy so if you want people to get money as well as items, we can add a command if we wanted to. Then we have the GUI option so if we click into this what we can do is set a title so yummy food is going to be the title and then the display item we need to be holding something in our hand to set this, so left click and that's going to select the cake as the display item rather than just a book. And then we can hide the kit or unhide it if we want. Go back and we can go into selling options. Do you want to have the kit for sale? Do you want it to be an external link that people buy from a website or do you want to set an in-game price? And the way you do that is just you know, type price there. And that is how you would set that. Go back and we've got some general options. So this is how you change the delay. So you can set this to maybe 300 seconds and then you can change a category and you can destroy the kit if you want. So next, if we switch to the item editing button, what we can do is edit the specific chances of each one. So you can see they each have a 100% chance. There is no name or law or display item with these. Um, and then you can see you can left, middle, right and shift click to change all these things. So let's go ahead and shift click the apple like so. So now they all have different chances. And then we could right click to set a law. And there we go. So now this one has a test law. So if we're happy with that, what we can do is exit and then uh, I'll clear our inventory and do the kits command again. We now see that we have yummy food here with the cake icon. And we can left click and see all the different chances. And we are going to right click we got two out of four items, so that's not too bad. So that is how you would create an editor kit in game. As you can see, super straightforward and really intuitive to be able to edit everything. So now I want to move on to the other feature of the plugin, which is crate and keys. You can see that what you can do is display your kits with this nice animation. If you've got holographic displays, you can have this nice display. And then you can see you can set them up a little differently. So this one is a right click to preview and left click with a key to acquire. And then this one is left to claim and buy for $99. And you can see if we right click them, we can preview them and see what they come with. And then you can buy them using the same button on the GUI. So if we want to create one of these, it's super straightforward. We can do UK and then set. And this one is going to be food. And in chat, you see it says kit food set to chest. If we right click, you can see it shows everything that we get. And if we shift right click, this is where we can edit stuff. With the decor options, we can toggle the hologram on. We can toggle the particles on. Now, if we toggle the display items on, you can see it is cycling through all the items that's in the chest. However, if we toggle display item override, it's only going to be the cake, the display item we set. And then over here, we can also edit the kit. So this is another way you can get to editing if you don't want to do the command. Now, as you can see, because we set it to the preview function, we could only preview it. However, now we can click the preview, left click with a key to open. So the way you get a key would be forward slash UK key. And then let's go for food. And it's going to be, let's go with regular and everyone's gonna get one. 
and one. If we left click, it's going to give us one of the items, so it wasn't particularly great. So if you want to download it, head over to the Songoda website. This has a few plugins, some free, some premium, but we can download it for free over here. You can see it's working for 1.8 to 1.21 and there's a wiki versions faq everything down here and overall really fantastic plugin but if you need a server to host it on check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time